Hello. In this tutorial, we're going to perform a general static analysis on a truss structure using Abacus Standard. The truss is displayed on the monitor behind me. The truss structure is fixed at one end with pin joints, which means it cannot move or translate in the x or y direction. However, it is free to rotate about the z-axis. Three concentrated forces of 3000, 5000, and 6000 newtons are applied at three nodes of the truss. We are going to use the dimensions from this schematic. We will be using SI units, where length is in meters. The radius of the truss members is 1 centimeter, or 0.01 meters. The truss is made of steel with a density of 7.8 grams per centimeter cube, a Young's modulus of 200 gigapascals, and a Poisson's ratio of 0.3. The truss in this example is a two-dimensional truss, so we're going to be working in a 2D plane. This means we're not going to create a 3D model of the truss the way we created a 3D model of the barbell stand. Instead, the truss members are going to be modeled using line segments. Then we're going to create sections, truss sections, and assign these to the truss members. And when we mesh the model, we're going to use truss elements and apply them to the entire truss structure. In Abacus, truss elements carry only axial loads, and they deform only by axial stretching. Basically, truss elements are one-dimensional bars or rods. Since truss structures, at least theoretically, are designed to carry purely axial loads, that is tensile and compressive loads, and do not undergo bending, this makes Abacus's truss element the ideal element for truss analysis. The joints in our truss will be pin joints, which means they can only transfer forces, but not moments, since pin joints allow rotation. However, we will not specifically be telling Abacus that the joints are pin joints, because truss elements in Abacus are expected to be pin jointed at their nodes. Now that we've got it all planned out, well, let's get started.